Hello, hello, and welcome back. This is going to be a project share for a personal swap that I am doing with Marvina. So um, the first thing is I'm giving her this um, this bag and I filled it with goodies. And this is going to be like a little belated birthday gift for her. I won't really go into that. That's not like the main thing. And let me grab this box out of the way. I made this little box and I saw it on, I think it was Mary's channel. And then she referred us to someone else who had a tutorial for it. And I think that it is so cute. So I made my base with 110 pound cardstock from Hobby Lobby. And then this is just like a little triangular belly band for it. And I use some of those stamps that I just received from Jessica um, to stamp out this sentiment. And then it opens like this. It has a little finger notch on it. And then I just have some bows um, that I've already made inside of here. And then it just closes back up. I will also have the link in the description box um, of the lady who has the tutorial for this. Sorry, I can't remember her name right off the bat. Okay, so this um, project here is a garden tote and it is inspired by BB's Crafts, um, Brittany. And so that is what she's looking like. She is pretty full. So I'm going to um, take everything out of it and then kind of give you a closer picture of this. So first of all, it comes with... Um, this will actually be my back and this is how I decorated my front and so in each pocket in the front and in the back I have some of these if you guys are on my Instagram then um, you saw these and I will show I will also have a link in the description box if you guys want to make these on your Cricut or on your silhouette um, the electronic die cutting machine it's a really really easy pocket um, this a little butterfly pocket that holds a pack of seeds I didn't do any extra resizing or anything so I think that that turned out cute and so in the back pocket I have another pack of seeds okay and then um, just pulling out the first thing I have some little bows also, I guess it would help to say that the main um, paper pad that I use for this is Daylight by Recollections. Um, and you can find these paper pads at Michael's. Okay, so that was these bowls. And that's not the only paper pad I use, but it's definitely the main paper pad. Um, and everything is like garden totes, so florals. I included one of these magnets in here, a magnifying glass with the light on it from Dollar Tree. Um, you guys saw me make this card. Um, I did go ahead on and glue it down. I think it's on with, yeah, it's on with glue dots. So if she wants to take this off, um, I did this embellishment for hashtag embellish with us Wednesdays and put it on a card. So if she wants to take this off and use it as an embellishment, then she certainly can. Um, I think I also included some, I don't know. I actually, I made two of these, you guys. I made one for my mom for Mother's Day. So um, I think I included some for her. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the envelope for the card. Um, I am gifting uh, some goodies. So this is a pack of Skittles and it has a little belly band on it, but this piece actually slides out as well. And I decorated this and then this is the little belly band. So then it kind of fits like that. I hope I'm in frame. Okay, so that is the belly band for the pack of Skittles and then what's in here okay in here I just have some little bow die cuts um, using the paper collection and also a whole pack of diamond dots 
and then in here um, I used the Prima flower packaging but I actually made all of these flowers using a die um, and put these little gems in the center and this is um, using multiple paper collections so all of well yeah it's multiple paper collections this one this one this one this one and this one is from um, the daylight paper pad and then all the rest of them were from other paper collections but I thought that they really went well together sorry for the glare so that's how that looks let's see in here I have a sequence mix so this is the main sequence mix that I was using um, for her so I just used one of these plain white bags and I believe I got these from Hobby Lobby um, added just a little altered well, a shaped paper clip in the shape of a bird. I think these paper clips came from Tuesday, not Tuesday morning, from um, Joann's. And then just added some stickers and then this like um, floral wreath with the like butterflies and everything in it. And I like the way that the sequence kind of just fits in the background up there. So that's what I did for my sequence mix. And you guys, first of all, me and Marvina only decided to make the garden tote. She usually sends me like extra things and I usually send her extra things. Um, plus, she just sent me an embroidery hoop full of stuff. Um, so I don't know if I'm making enough for her <laughs> or not. Um, I have no idea what else she's going to send. But our main item was the garden tote. We didn't say anything else. Um, so anyway, in this package... I literally have no idea what I put in here and I'm feeling and I sewed the top together oh my gosh I knew that was gonna happen oh I think it's some wooden pieces um yes yeah, so just some wooden pieces that she can use and I zigzag so the top of that and that's pretty much all the sewing that I did on this project I tried to keep it no sew um, these are some bag toppers that I included for her. And then I just made this little bag um, topper for it with some flowers that I've been working on with the shaker in the center. So super cute. And I just made the packaging. And then the next thing is one of these tags. I kind of just stuck this in. Um, it's one that I had left over from another hashtag. Um, maybe embellish with us Wednesdays um, and I didn't put anything in it yet I'll probably find something to put in it you know what and I'm looking at this I don't know I don't know I'll probably hook this up I just left it right there for a second okay I am gifting these flowers and I've shown you guys these probably in another video too um, so I made all of these and they have the sequence centers, the shaker centers. Um, and then I put this little bag topper on it and it's the same bag topper as these. So she can decide to decorate them if she wants to. And so that's it. And I think I hot glued this bag topper on, but she can open this from the bottom and slide everything out and reuse the packaging if she wants to. And then I'm also um, including a pack of stickers. I think I showed you guys this already too um, with the little rosette. I have a watering can in the background and then um, some little greenery and another shaped paper clip. And this one is a snail. So it kind of like blends right on in. And that's all for the first section of this. So y'all, this fits a lot of stuff okay so on this side I have a altered paper clip that I did and it just slips on just like that on this front pocket and of course this is one of the butterflies that I did um, that I have a free file for if you're interested let me know I'll send you a link and then these are two shaped paper clips, like in the shape of roses. So I have it in black and white. And then in here, this is a tag flip. Um, yeah, I guess it's called a tag flip. And so I have a 
little dangle on the side and this dangle I believe came from it's Park Lane and um, just another little dangle here and then I put like this little chain on the top and it's on with a big jumbo purple paper clip so I um, yeah purple paper clip this is how I decorated the first page so I think that's really cute okay so I did do some sewing here um, and just added some um, tr trim in the back this is a big cactus in the back um, a little butterfly this one was gifted to me rain or shine just some trim and a little sticker that I have popped up and then on this side, oh, you guys, I haven't seen this in a couple of weeks. I kind of forgot what was in here. So on this side, I have some altered um, mini envelopes. And um, they are removable. They're on just with repositionable glue dots. Yeah, all, all of that is removable. So I think that that turned out super cute. And on this one, I have a like Polaroid picture frame. And um, this wooden piece that says Faith, a sticker that says Bloom and Grow, and one of those Park Lane, I think it's a Park Lane sticker, definitely came from Joann's. And then on this side, I have some Shaker Ticket embellishments. Um, I think you guys saw me start cutting these out on hashtag Let's Do Die Cutting Monday. And so I went ahead on and decorated them, um, embellished them a little bit. They are also on with repositionable glue dots. Um, I added a little bit of pink trim to the side, the word butterfly, and a little butterfly here. Of course, the background paper here is from the collection. This blue polka dot paper is not. And on here, I just tied a little bow um, and added a little sticker on this side. And here I added a rosette with a little bunny on the background. This bunny um, in the sun kind of um, die cut is removable. So she can use that rosette for something else if she would like. Um, it does come off. And then on this one, I added a tag. This tag is also removable. And then I just added some stickers and some trim. And added my um, little sticker and I love the way that this whole thing turned out. I really like the addition of the chain. I think I'm going to start incorporating that like in some more of my projects as well. Okay, I'll fix that later. Okay, the next thing is this little envelope. Oh, this is where I included the other um, the other apron embellishments. So it just unties like this and I have a little butterfly with a little paper ruffle and um, a little flower here, a little shaped paper clip and another flower here and then you open it up and these are two of the apron um, embellishments that I am including for her to use. And then I also made some flat crepe paper. Um, I'll seal that back up. Some flat crepe paper um, rosettes. So I think it's about four that I got to stuff in here. And so that's how that turned out. Super cute. And also in this pouch, in this space here, I added an entire embellishment box. Now I did show you guys the embellishment box in another video, so I won't go through the front of that again, but I am loving the way the yellow pops on everything. I think that is super cute. There is a shaker in the background. Um, I think that that's cute. And when you open it up, you can see the shaker from this side as well. And I just have a little sticker and a butterfly here and added some pink star trim. And then I won't go through all of this, but um, there it is. So it's some angels and owls, stars, some pearl um, trim, a couple of wooden um, flowers. These are some flowers that I made. Um, some beads, pom-poms. This is some trim. 
Um, this is almost a whole pack of these little gems from Hobby Lobby. Um, I had some extra tickets. One's embellished and one is not. And then I'm also adding some embroidery thread. And then those, um, she said that she liked these on the video that I showed. So all the rest of them that I had, I included those. And then some fun buttons as well. Okay, so I'll put that to the side for later. And then in this pocket, I just have these from Dollar Tree, the um, little butterfly and the um, flowers. And actually, I had more of them in here, so I have to find what I did with the rest of them. And this is the one that I altered a little bit. And then these are just plain. Here, I added a little dangle. Um, this is a altered paper clip on this dangle. And that's how that looks. So I just wrap paper around it. And then um, these are like little clay beads. They're actually, they're not clay. So I don't know if you can still call them hishi beads or not. But um, the little disc. And I actually think that's what they were called on the pack. Um, and some little flower wooden beads. And I just have it on like a ball and chain. And here, these are just some hot pink tags. Okay, and we went through the front already. On this side, I'm gifting some washi tape. And on this side, um, so this is, these are some die cuts of little bitty envelopes. And then I had this little um, pen. So I just kind of like stuck it in the paper clip so it'll stick out just a little bit. So that's how that looks. And then this is a, what do you call it? A plant pick, you know, that you guys can um, like stick it in the plant and then like write the name of whatever's planted in it on it. So I saw Poochie Tats um, did an alteration on these. And so I kind of followed her tutorial and came up with this. And I think that it is so, so, so precious. I super love the way that this turned out. So I'm including one of those. And the actual plastic pick. Um, came from a Dollar Tree. So I've had these for um, probably about two years or so. Um, I didn't pick any up this time because I already had a few. I actually do use them in my garden and some of my plants sometimes. So, yeah. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I said that I would give you another look. So, this is how this tote looks so it's aligned all over it has the pockets on the front and back two on the side the handle does move which I think is super cute um, I had some leaf shaped brad so I put them on both sides um, I put a piece of washi tape down the sides of the pockets on the sides and yeah, that's the inside and a lot, a lot of stuff fit in those two pockets. So this is everything <laughs> that I am gifting and I hope that she loves it. You guys, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Please like, um, just give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're liking all of this and if you are um making anything with like pops of yellow in it lately okay see you guys next time goodbye